Hi everyone. Welcome back to Frappe School. This is the second chapter in our project management course. Today, we will be discussing how to create and manage tasks in ERP Next. By the end of this chapter, you will know how to create tasks, update and track tasks, manage dependency in tasks and visualize tasks of a project. A task can be explained as an activity that takes place as a part of a project. A project usually has an overall objective and a few operational details may need to be worked out during execution. Translating the project objective into a clear set of tasks can help define goals, deliverables and timelines smoothly in any particular project. A project may be deliverable by a team but most tasks are assigned to be completed by a specific individual or a small team by closely monitoring task completion it is possible to discover any bottlenecks that could affect the success of the entire project and implement necessary course correction to ensure the success of the project task management in erp next helps you define tasks easily to avoid any setbacks let's see how we can set it up in the system let's first see how we can create tasks for a project we can navigate to the project list in the project module and open a project we've already created once we open the project we can see a task button at the top We can create a new task by clicking on the plus button. First, we need to add a subject. Let's name this task conduct orientation session. The project and status fields will be already filled. If this task is related to an issue, then we can link it here. Next, we can define the task type next we can pick a color to customize this task and use the check boxes shown here to define if this task is a subgroup or a group if this task is marked as a group task it will enable other tasks to be created under it we can even mark if this task is a template task to be used in project templates now we can change the task priority and assign a weight to it if it has weightage in the project and if this task is linked to a parent task then we can add those details under parent task as well moving on to the timeline section here we will fill in the expected start and end date for this task suppose this task is to be started on the 15th of february and is expected to end on the 22nd then we can add the dates accordingly we can add the number of hours this task is expected to take and use the check box to define if this task is a milestone in the particular project in the detail section we can add a task description since we are creating a task for conducting an orientation session for a new employee we can list the activities to be done as a part of the orientation The dependency section helps us define if this task has any other dependent task without which the task can't be marked as completed. Suppose we want to add a dependent task, we can do that by clicking on add row and selecting a task. Once we have added all the details we can save this task once a task is completed we can change the status to completed and details in completed by and completed on fields we can also create a task independently without linking to a specific project we can find task by navigating from home to the project module and going to task under the project section we can assign this task to a particular user using the assign to button on the left 
and select the user to whom we want to assign this task. We can view the tasks in the project in different ways to suit different needs. Let's open the project we have created. We need to go to the task list for the project from the connections tab and then pick a view from the list at the top. Apart from the standard list view, ERP Next allows us to view the task in other views as well. Let's explore some of them. As seen in the previous chapter, we can visualize tasks in Gantt. Kanban view Calendar view Tree view and report views. You can easily view the tasks assigned to you via the assign to filter. If you need to update multiple tasks in one go, you can simply tick the checkboxes against the task and click on actions button and then choose the right option under it. Finally, we can explore the delayed task summary report. This report gives an overview of the tasks and if they are on track or delayed. This brings us to the end of the second chapter in our project management course. I hope this helped you understand how to use ERP Next to create tasks and manage them effectively. You can read more about ERP Next on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will discuss timesheet management in project management. Thank you.